In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the new capability to import survey data into your PLS poll and tower models. This can be a very useful tool to assist in the modeling of existing structures so that they accurately match survey data. To begin, all you need to do is have visible survey points around the site of your structure in your PLS CAD model. In this example, we will be using a project that has some very dense terrestrial LiDAR. You'll want to create a very simple structure so it can be placed in the PLS CAD project. Here we will use a structure with just a single pole element and nothing else. This feature, however, will only import points 10 meters beyond the extents of the structure. So for structures with a wider footprint, you may want to temporarily add in some other members away from the structure hub to extend the structure's footprint, or start with a structure model that has a wider footprint or more closely resembles the structure being modeled. Since this example is just for a small footprint model pool, starting with a simple single pole structure will work well. After we make a simple PLS pole model, we insert it at the location where the center of the structure meets the ground line. Now when we edit the structure from PLS CAD to open it in PLS pole, it will send the surrounding survey data into PLS pole for display. By default, the survey data is not displayed to preserve existing behavior. To enable the display of the survey data, Simply click on the 3D control button and use the drop down menu under the load vectors to select the option for displaying PLS CAD survey data. You'll also notice there are now additional options for also showing wires from the PLS CAD model if there were any attached to the structure, as well as labels for them. If the survey data and wires from PLS CAD is something that you want enabled by default, you can enable it by going to File Preferences and in the upper right corner finding the setting for it and changing it. Once the survey data is visible in PLS pole or tower, it becomes very easy to build a structure to match it. And by using the graphical commands on the framing manager, you can easily drop frame sets onto the pole and move and rotate them into the correct position to match the survey data. To start with though, we will take a quick measurement between the points at the ground and the points at the top of the pole to see what the height of the pole is. However, the current pole is getting in the way of that survey data. So to show a new graphical feature and to temporarily move the pole out of the way, we will demonstrate the new command to graphically rake a pole and snap it to a survey point by clicking on the pole element and choosing the rake pole command. Here you can see it's very easy now to graphically lean a pole in any direction so that it snaps to a surveyed point. And with the pole temporarily out of the way, we can now take a quick measurement between the points, and we see that the pole is roughly 79 feet out of the ground, making this a 90 foot tall pole with a standard 10% plus 2 embedment. So we will go into the pole geometry table and remove the incline angles to undo the rake we just applied, and we will choose a class 2 90 foot tall pole and click OK. Now the pole appears to be the correct size, and we can begin to put our frame sets on it. We're going to be using some pre-configured frame sets in the interest of time in this video, so if you'd like more information on framing, we have a couple of YouTube videos linked in the description below. And there's a webinar you can access through the software by navigating to Help Register for Training Classes. We can start with the transmission frame set by opening the Framing Manager and dragging the frame set onto the pole. And if we zoom in a little closer now, we can use the graphical commands to move the frame set into the proper position to match the LiDAR survey data. Next, we will add in our first three-phase distribution underbuilt frame set, and we will be sure to grab the one without a neutral wire since the first one doesn't have a neutral, and we'll again move it into place. Notice, however, though, that the frame set shows two insulators on the left of the pole instead of of the right, like the LiDAR data shows. So we will click on the frame set and choose the option to rotate it around the pole and hold down the control key to have it snap at 10 degree intervals and this makes it very easy to flip the frame set 180 degrees. Then we can just repeat that process for the next three phase distribution arm that does have a neutral and the fuse cutout arm below it. And then we'll do the same thing for the third distribution circuit below that. And now the structure model is fully built and ready to be placed in PLS CAD for adding wires and loads. And in comparing it against the LiDAR survey data, we can see that it matches perfectly. 
The last thing we will show in this video is some of the new commands for graphically moving guy wires inside of PLS Pole. So in this LiDAR project here, we have the same sort of thing but with some guide structures. Here as well, we start out by placing a simple structure with just a pole element and then edit the structure to see it in PLS Pole with the LiDAR survey points. Now to show how to model these guy wires to fit the survey points, we can start by going into the framing manager and finding the guy wire we're looking for and then drag it onto the pole. And if you don't get it in quite the right spot, you can use the graphical move command to move it up and down the pole. And notice how you can have it snap to specific LiDAR points. Also notice how the slope of this guy wire stays consistent as you move the guy wire attachment up and down the pole. That's because this particular guy wire is defined via a slope in azimuth. Now to get the anchor point in the correct location, we will need to first explode the frame set so we can modify its properties. Once that is done, you can click on a guy wire and now see the move anchor point command. This will allow you to graphically move the anchor point around until you can snap it to a LiDAR point where it's attaching to the ground surface. And after we do that, you look at the properties of the guy wire, you'll see that PLS pole maintains the guy wire definition or type and it modifies the slope and azimuth accordingly. And this is true for all guy wire types. The graphical move commands will always maintain the guy wire definition. We hope that you find these new features helpful in building your structure models and customizing them to match survey data. For more information about our software, including additional videos and tech notes, please check out our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, and other information, please contact the email addresses shown on the screen. Thank you for watching this video and your interest in our software, the industry standard and overhead line design.